Neanderthal thinking. Joining me now to discuss this, Texas Congressman Jody Arrington. Congressman, always great to see you. What's your reaction to Joe Biden slamming the Texas governor and uh, Texas Neanderthal, he said? <laughs> well, listen, um, I can understand that the president believes in the nanny state. He, his belief system is that the federal government has to tell us uh, how to, you know, when to blow our nose and uh, when to sanitize our, and wash our hands. Uh, we believe in freedom and that at, in Texas, it's more than just a one-dimensional manage the spread of COVID. It's, it's managing the economic disaster. It's managing the disastrous effects of not opening schools for our children. And, and it's about protecting our liberties and it's trusting the people. Uh, to be responsible. And uh, that is the culture in Texas. Um, and obviously, President Biden didn't get that memo. But Texas is doing great. We're coming back. Schools are open. Businesses will be at 100% next week. And uh, the mask mandate, which I wasn't a big fan of the statewide mask mandate, but that's been lifted. And we're full throttle going forward because, uh, look, you can't hide in your basement forever. Even Joe Biden figured that out. At some point, he had to get out and, uh, and, and debate and, uh, you, you know, govern the country. Uh-huh. You know, I want to turn to another issue in the state because I asked uh, Governor Abbott when I spoke with him today about how concerned he was that illegal aliens were being released into the state of Texas, starting in the state of Texas, uh, without being checked for the China virus. Uh, as you know, there's a congressionally caused and now a White House caused crisis to the border. And today we learned because of a policy change, 108 illegal aliens in Texas tested positive for the China virus. And again, they weren't testing before. Now they're testing because they were taking heat from uh, well, people like me and other people out there. This is a change of policy. I'm told two days ago, this is when they changed this policy. Before Biden was just testing folks, well, it wasn't testing folks, and just releasing them into the state of Texas. Either way, this is a real problem that Biden is all but ignoring public health of Texas, no? It's a huge problem. Uh, it's not just the, uh, the you know, lifting of restrictions like rescinding funding for border wall, catch and release reinstated, the 25,000 waiting in Mexico while, while their uh, asylum claims are being processed. Um, it's this Title 42 that President Trump put in place as a, as a responsible restriction for illegal crossings that need to, people who would be immediately deported uh, because of COVID and the pandemic. Now, President Biden doesn't mind putting restrictions and mandates on his citizens. But meanwhile, there's this free for all policy at the border and it's costing billions of dollars to uh, citizens of Texas and other border state communities. And, and, uh, and it's not just the drugs and crime and the humanitarian crisis, it's, it's also a public health risk. And he doesn't seem to care too much about it unless folks like you and, and members of Congress, including my friend from Laredo, who's a Democrat, saying this is foolhardy to, to think that you can just lift the floodgates up without testing or screening and think that uh, you're not going to spread COVID throughout the country because, of course, we're releasing uh, these illegal immigrants into the interior of our country. Right. A couple of Democrats, not Democrat socialists, but a couple of Democrats in Texas also sounding the alarm of the congressionally caused crisis at the border. Uh, the Biden administration locked ICE's public safety alert account. Now, this, this account informed we, the public, about fugitive criminal illegal aliens. Congressman, whose side is Mr. Biden on? Well, he has prioritized illegal immigrants over the American people. That's clear. He has sent a message uh, to Central and South America, to folks who would come to our country and uh, violate our sovereignty and our laws. And he, he, the messages were open for business. The drug cartels were open for, for business. We won't hold people accountable. In fact, we'll reward them. His latest uh, uh, immigration, quote unquote, reform a bill includes amnesty for 11 million folks who broke our laws. What is that message to the, to the millions who stand in line for years, respecting our laws uh, uh, to become citizens of this great nation? So it's horrible. Yeah. 
It's upside down. It's certainly not America first anymore. And most of this is done by unilateral action from uh, King, uh, uh, our king over there in the <laughs> Oval Office. Yeah, that's true. I only got about 60 seconds left. By the way, that 11 million number of illegal aliens, you and I both know, that's, that's just absolutely it's a rubbish. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I want to turn to H.R. 1. It's a bill that we're calling here on the Chris Salcedo Show, the Democrats' license to cheat at the ballot box. Seems to me that socialists are trying to ram this through in the United States Congress to make sure they never lose another election. What say you? I say you're right. It's, a, it's, it's an egregious, brazen power grab by the Democrats. It's a federal takeover of our elections. It, it's uh, the Californication of our election system because we'll have the same broken, uh, fraudulent, ridden uh, process and election rules of California mandated on every state in the country. It, it's horrible, and it's the greatest, if it were to pass, the greatest transfer of power from the people in the states to Washington, D.C., in the history of oh. the United States. Yes, and totally counterintuitive to the vision of the Founding Fathers. We will no longer have a government of, by, and for the people. It's going to be something else. Congressman, always a pleasure talking to you. Come back soon. Uh, Florida leading the way.